There's Lauren, tasteless, clueless, and completely predictable. Anna Lynn's first major role was in 2007 in a series called American Heiress, but her big break came in 2008, playing Naomi Clark in the CW reboot of 90210. Say it, even everyone knows. I'm sorry. Ah! Fans didn't know it at the time, but Anna Lynn was battling some serious trauma during her rise to fame that eventually led to a recent diagnosis, dissociative identity disorder. Dissociative identity disorder is, was formally known as multiple personality disorder. It's formerly known that because that is not what it is. It is actually a fragmentation of the sense of self. So it often is survivors of trauma, who typically severe and often childhood trauma, that end up being sufferers of disassociative identity disorder. For Anna Lynn, she says that the trauma started in childhood, with years of sexual abuse she later uncovered in therapy. For 10 years, I thought it was my fault. My body actually completely shut everything down and wouldn't let me fight back because I thought that was the only way to cope with abuse. According to the National Alliance on Mental Illness, the condition often develops as a way for people to deal with intensely painful experiences. The American Psychiatric Association explains that patients tend to exhibit two or more distinct identities that come with changes in behavior, thinking, and memory. And the way I describe it is, it's not different personalities. I'm not British one day and, you know, <laughs> South African the next. Yeah. I, I am Anna Lynn, but it's, it's parts of Anna Lynn are allowed to come out at this point and they're not safe to come out at this point. Or parts of Anna Lynn get triggered out in the world and come out to protect. Let's just talk about how BID initially showed up in your life. When was the moment where you figured out Okay, something's going on here. Well, it should have been when I was wearing black wigs and <laughs> randomly changing. All of these different parts of myself were coming out in, in kind of a carousel of, of expression when I was in my early 20s. But now I just thought, you know, other people are boring and I'm much more interesting. <laughs> yeah. This is the story I told myself. So I have to do it with a baby voice so that it sounds nicer and softer to you or for me to be able to express it or whatever the case may be. And I, I had these different variations. What I often would find myself in was protective mode with this very masculine energy, this kind of balls to the wall, middle fingers to the sky in your face situation. And that part of me was clearly necessary because of all the things that I went through and now remember going through as a child. During a hiatus from 90210 in 2012, she jumped into a role on an indie film called Excision. It's not my fault I was born with a chemical imbalance. As Anna Lynn stepped into her character, Pauline, she felt her disorder taking control. I was so good at slipping on the shoes of anyone but myself. I never wanted to do anything that was even remotely like me. That was the first time I was really exposing my nuanced ideologies and mindset. It wasn't the homicidal side of her that I related to, just so everyone knows. Uh, it was it was this this strange little girl. That was the first time that DID with my acting actually got all misconstrued because I I went into a, the shoes of someone and they were my own shoes and it was terrifying. Now that she's aware of what she's up against, Anna Lynn says she's changed the way she works in the new power prequel Raising Canaan narrated by 50 Cent. Well, the new process requires my whole self. I gotta nice. dive in with all of me. And we were in one of those meetings with the director and the actors and everybody, and, and we were talking about my character, Tony, and and she's, she just owns her sexuality. And they were like, oh, she's you know, she's a power woman. She's like, no, she's hurt. How many times do we give our soul away, right? Just yeah. because all we wanted for a moment was to feel loved. And that for me was my life because of all this. And now my whole self knows that my body's a temple, honey. Anna Lynn is giving these words of encouragement to anyone else who might be struggling. It's so courageous to be human. <laughs> you don't have to look at it until that moment when you're ready. If I, if I affect one person, then all of this is worth it.